this December sadly marks a 10 year anniversary of losing Dimebag. Uh, had you ever met Dimebag? I mean, or you'd seen Pantera before, though? Yes, I mean, the first time I saw Pantera, you know, I grew up in Europe, as I said, and um, the, when I heard Pantera, and I'm going to be absolutely truthful about this, when I heard Pantera the first time, I'm like, okay, this is cool, you know, I, I like the band, but but I always felt like it's, like it's one guitar, you know, for European, you know, I, for American bands, I would like Metallica, you know, I, I like the combination of the melodies and the rhythm guitar, and, and Europeans are generally um, closer to that classical-based music when it's when it's you know comes out of the harmonies and mm -hmm. and, uh, and the correlation of, of harmonies you know while american music is 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 typically blues and rhythm based so it's more toward the rhythm and and, and a groove you know and so panther i didn't really understand you know i was like okay it's cool but it didn't really like blow my skirt up so to speak as as, as the records that was a band that you have to, have to see and then out of a sudden it just like okay i got it mm -hmm. you know and I remember hitchhiking, uh, <laughs> hitchhiking out to a, a Pantera show to Germany, and I, I got there late. We, we were hitchhiking, so you know there's no schedule. <laughs> <laughs> so I got there late, and I, I got to see maybe like four songs, and and I just could not believe what I was looking at. You know, it literally that changed direction to me, as I've never seen anything like this. So the power of that show and the, and the, and the grooves and how that whole you know, how that whole whole band was operating was insane and Dimec particularly, you know, like these guys jumping up from some speaker and mid, you know, mid flight, he changes a, a guitar pickup and then arrives to his whammy, whammy paddle. I'm like, what the hell, you know? So both as playing, performing and as, as, a, as music, it, it changed my musical um, direction and understanding. And that's where I kind of like, okay, if European metal and this will meet, which is, I think, what Five Finger Dead Punch was based on, can we mix these power grooves with those European melodies and harmonies, and then we're going to get the Holy Grail. And that's definitely a, a huge punter inference in there. And I did met, meet uh, later on in life, I met, you know, Matt Dimebag a couple of times. I mean, unfortunately, I can't say we were friends, as in, you know, we, we didn't get to hang out together, but I met him a couple of times, hung out for a little bit, you know, and... Um, yeah, he was just a funny guy, you know, and and still to this day, actually, since uh, since I since I'm on the road, which is 2007, consistently, um, I have um I have a, a poster of of Dimebag with you know um, a black and white poster in my guitar rig. So when you take off the lid from my my rack, is there, there's an actual Dimebag, the Rip Dimebag cross poster in there, and it's with us for the last seven years. Oh, it's, wow. it's, yeah, it's it's been always there, you know. Very cool. Yeah.